your obsession is these magnificent things of destruction. But, and then at the same time, like you're also at ground zero for, you see the devastation that it causes uh, to families all across the, all across the nation. That has to kind of be tough for you to juggle the two emotions of my goodness, look at what we just witnessed. And, Oh, there are real world Mm. consequences to this. Yeah, and I think that that tornado is kind of the perfect example of the dichotomy that happens out there. The tornadoes can be these beautiful, organized feats of nature. You know, the funnel is so smooth, it's so large and rotating so rapidly and so organized, kind of the perfect balance of inflow and outflow, almost like a living, breathing organism. But then you see the damage that they leave behind, the dark side and the loss of life and property and you know, it just breaks your heart. Uh, you feel guilty for being right. excited for seeing the tornado, for making an accurate forecast and tracking it down. And, you know, you help out the best that you can. And, you know, you can justify that dichotomy by, you know, that storm chasers help out as well by calling in reports and warning people on the path of the tornado and increasing awareness and bridging the gap between the National Weather Service and news media and people in the path of the tornadoes. But, you know, there's no way around it. The damage that they leave behind is is sad and heartbreaking. And all you can do is drop the storm chase and help out anybody that is in need uh, the best that you can and uh, try to warn people in the path of the storms and keep doing research to try to better understand them. You know, I, and uh, warning lead times are definitely increasing dramatically because of the, you know, the, the, the hard work of all the scientists that are out there and there's so, so many new technologies and supercomputers and new high resolution models that are available now. So I think the warnings are getting better. And, uh, you know, I, I don't think that the dark side that the tornadoes leave behind is ever going to go away, but I think that we're getting better equipped so that people can take the necessary precautions and try to keep them and their f- family safe in the path of these tornadoes. 